Hi guys, it's Nakaya, and I just wanted to take you along with this Get Ready With Me for uh, this career fair that I was invited to to be a vendor. Y'all remember when we were like in high school and um, they would have a career day and stuff like that? Like, we really are the new adults now. Like, I'm, do I'm on the opposite side of this now. Like, that was just so crazy. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. You know, we're using that um, e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. This is a freshly washed and moisturized face. Y'all, I had been up since like 5 this morning. Really before then, I only got like a couple hours of sleep trying to prepare for this event. Because my toddler gave me quite a night before. So, it was so much going on. I was so tired. I'm sure you all can see that. And, and let me just also say, if you talk about my eczema and how dry my hands are in this video, because of my eczema, you are anti-black okay i'm not gonna say it no more so here i'm using this is a maybelline um brow pencil in the color deep brown just going in light hair like strokes it's different than the the elf pencil that i've been using in my previous videos i like a finer tip like this one because it looks uh more natural um in my opinion you know you can do whatever you know how to do but for me I like a pencil that's a little bit thinner. That was just what I had at the time. So, girl, you can see I was sleeping good. I got my bracelet imprinted in my face, y'all. I was so tired. just filling it in i just like to go over the natural shape of my brows i don't really like to create no shapes and you know extra lines and all this stuff because i find that you have to do so much more work when you're carving them out in my opinion so one is a little bit oh excuse me one is a little bit fuller than the other one but i am gonna go in and fix that <coughs> mm, excuse me Okay, so we're just going in with the Fit Me Foundation. This is a dewy foundation. Trying to get rid of them bags, y'all. Trying to get rid of them bags underneath my eyes. Like, I just cannot put into words how tired I was. My two-year-old had gotten into the dish soap. Um, Y'all, it hadn't even been five minutes, Okay. It had not even been five minutes. His play area is in the living room. So I'm thinking he's in there playing because I was confiscating stuff from him. We're, we are potty training. Okay. We are potty training. And oh, y'all, it's so much. It's so much. So while I'm putting that stuff back, you know, from him, the things that he's gotten while you're not focusing on pottying, I say, wait, y'all, it's, it's a little quiet in here. It's never quiet. It's a weekday. Okay, it's never quiet. You just got home from daycare, baby. It shouldn't even be this quiet. Quiet should be the last thing we talking about. I go in the kitchen, y'all. He done put at least a, a cup's worth of dish soap on the floor. At least. At least. So, of course, I had to go in with all the water in the house and screw up the whole floor plan because it was just so much soap on the floor. It took me so long. To clean all of that up because you know the mop ain't do nothing but you know push it around and stuff that really that really had threw me plus like i said i still had to prepare for the event today so now i'm just going in you know contouring my nose doing that first bring it up into the brow bone Typically, you would never catch me on camera like this with my bonnet on. No shade to the girlies who do. You know, that's just that's just not my aesthetic or whatever. But I was just so tired. And it was just so early. But it don't matter. It does not matter. We're going to get right into it anyway. Just going to blend that out. Blend that uh, highlighted area out. 
my beauty blender is a bit damp i do want to add that that is a bit damp um i did do things a little bit differently this time usually i would have taken a fluffy uh concealer brush and pressed the concealer into the skin um but i was a little pressed for time and also um it was five o'clock in the morning so <laughs> everything hadn't loaded up there yet you know so we're just gonna blend that out press that in I really cannot believe. I don't know. Y'all probably can hear him. He's watching Bluey. But I really cannot believe, like, I am on the opposite end of the career fair for this. Like, it was such a great event, guys. Um, I went to a school, a local high school out here where I am um, in the southwest Georgia area. I'm not going to disclose the high school. But it was great to see... Um, you know, kids around that age, like, I had been in the high school in almost 10 years. Like, I graduated in 2015. I'll be 27 in a couple of weeks. And so, it just was so crazy to be in the high school again. But the kids were really nice. Um... They had lots of questions for me because, like I said, I am a esthetician studying for the state board. I just graduated in December, but I have been doing makeup since I was about 16. I've been doing makeup for quite some time now. Oh, my goodness. I am so sorry about that, y'all. I am so sorry. He came in here and uh, turned the blow dryer on. Trying to find his snacks. I already gave you your snacks, honey. They out waiting for you. At your little table. Go get your snacks. And here trying to do my little voiceover. But what I was saying, um, girl, <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, yeah, like, um, they were asking me questions about being an esthetician. And really, my focus was makeup today. So I didn't really delve into the side of aesthetics. I did have a makeup model. Um, you can look at how the makeup turned out on my Instagram at your beauty bar one. That's my brand. That is my business. But I did an age appropriate look for her. Very, very, very beautiful girl. You know, never want to do too much. They actually had a raffle going on for their students to get their makeup done for free. Um, two students to get their makeup done for free for the prom you know um got a couple of people signed up for that but um I really do look forward to to doing that you know prom is such a I don't know I feel like it's such a milestone like I know some people didn't go or that wasn't you know their thing or whatever but I went to two proms and I had a really good time. I love the like getting dressed up, you know, looking for the dress, the shoes, getting my hair done, get my makeup done. Like I love the whole experience, you know. I love the whole experience and I think that young women should get a chance, you know, to feel beautiful like that as they're coming into their adulthood and entering the world and stuff like that, you know. Um, but they really did enjoy that. They were super excited to to see me do the makeup. It was so adorable. So here I am putting in some translucent powder first to just kind of set so nothing creases underneath my eye. And then going on top of that with um, um, a beige baking powder. And just setting it in, dusting the excess off in a second here. But it was a totally great experience. Um... It definitely put into perspective like how far I come how far I have come from, you know, when I was in high school to that point. Um, I do like to reminisce and look back because baby, I used to come to work face beat. Okay. 
face used to be beat for the gods. Do you hear me? Like, even back then, like, people want me to do their makeup and ask me questions and stuff. And I'm like, mm, I don't even know how to do mine, you know. I don't really know too much when, in reality, people just want to know what to do. And I really got a lot of questions about, um, like, a one-on-one, like, learning how to do your makeup, what that entails. You know, so I really don't think that's a service that I want to add. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to do a digital version of that. Um, so, so where people can see what I'm using, how I'm using it, what am I doing? And also like an in-person version where I have like a little package for you all, you know, a, a foundation, brushes, sponges, you know, all the things that you would need that I use to do my makeup. Um, I'm very interested in, you know, pursuing that, adding that as an additional service that I do offer. You know, um, I got tons of questions about it and not just from the kids. Like I get questions about that all the time. Like, how do I do this? How did you start that? What did you do? What did you use? Like just a couple of weeks ago, my cousin who does not do makeup, like she can, you know, she can do a little one, two, you know, she can do a little one, two or whatever, but she wanted me to virtually help her do makeup for her friend was having, um, a surprise vow renewal and she uh her husband the friend's husband um asked my cousin to do her makeup or whatever she's like girl makeup i'm gonna do that so she called me and i talked her through it and it came out pretty decent i must say for it to have been you know over the phone like we facetime and i told her what to get beforehand and stuff like that but I do think that is a service I definitely want to add because people seem to be very interested in that and I guess I don't know I don't know why it was so far-fetched for me to think that people want to know like what I do or how I you know want to do my makeup or how I get the look that I get but you know um I, I'm very interested in adding that service for for people who are interested in learning how to do whatever you know whatever level of makeup even the teachers wanted to know certain things and got a lot of footage and stuff like that it was just a really cool day y'all like I was just like wow full circle moment I had to pause the video again this man breaking into the refrigerator getting pickles which is totally fine I just I wanted to make sure he had some assistance because again we already had an accident yesterday but yeah it was just really nice to be in that space again, you know, on the opposite side of things, because when I was that age, that was, makeup is not where I thought I would be. Aesthetics is not where I thought I'd be. Like, I went to school to be a behavior analyst. I've always been interested in the world of psychology and what that means for the black mind, because a lot of things are based off of, you know, white people and how things affect them. You have to create your own studies and stuff like that um, to get a better understanding and development for your demographic. So I wanted to be of help in that type of way. I never would have thought that makeup would be the, the route that I was to take, you know, even being heavily involved in it. Like I said, from 16 on up, like it just was like, wow, never would I have thought that this is where it would have taken me, you know. Now, in the beginning of this video, I was saying that I use a beauty blender instead of my fluffy concealer brush. Um, that is not a mistake that I want to make again. I will say this is not my most favorite look, but, you know... It was fitting for what I had to do today. Very neutral, natural makeup. I did get a lot of compliments on it. You know, sometimes you are your worst critic. You know, just because you don't like something doesn't mean that somebody else may not. Everything uh, may not always be for you, if that makes sense. You know, some things are for other people um, and how they visually see you, you know, and what they like. You know, so... Um, but yeah, that is it, y'all. Like, this is how it turned out. I had a great time today with the kids, and I would love to do something like that again. It looks much better outside in this lighting. I think it was the lighting that really was getting me, too. But yeah, y'all. 
please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Ask me any questions. I'll leave the rest of my socials down here. You all can follow me, ask questions, get to know me a 